Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial about speed. Uh, speed is a thing that's mainly happening in your brain and in your muscles. It's a two bar phrase with 16th and 32nd notes and a 4-4 four, four bar. So the first practice actually is coming from the right hand and you start two. second one starts with your left hand so it goes one two three four one two three four one the third one you start with your left hand and you uh, progress into the 32nd notes with your right hand so it goes like this one two three So the last one goes like this. It's four rights, four lefts, and then it goes to the 30 second notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So in the next clip, you're gonna see all four exercises in 152 BPM first, and then in 200 BPM. So if you're really fast, you can do it like this. Okay, watch your sticks. So the stick needs to bounce. They have to come back every time to you. So if you throw it away on the practice pad, you see it comes back. You know there's a lot of energy in the stick. If you leave the stick alone like this. You know, so that means all the energy is in the stick. You can throw actually back on the, on the practice pad. So the energy is there, you can feel it if you bounce the stick. And if you don't feel like you're bouncing enough, you, you can take the stick like this, yes, between your index and your middle finger. And then you actually do this. Then you feel it's bouncing much more. So if you lose it here, you try this again. And you feel, yeah, yeah now it's bouncing, all right? So this artwork can be yours. If you're the 10th or 20th subscriber, I will sign it and send it to your home. Okay guys, thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next tutorial. Ciao. Hi, welcome to another drum tutorial about speed. Drum speed, of course. It's just a matter of not thinking about slow, just think about speed. So sometimes you think, well, I'm never going to get that speed out of it. But just always try to look behind the mountain. That's actually your barrier. So if you think, well, I'll never get that fast, just try to find a way to get faster. Because other people can do it, so you can do it as well. It's a matter of practice. So in this episode, I'm going to tell you something about stick control and how you can gain speed with just one hand. So uh, holding the stick, most people hold the stick like this 
Sorry. Most drummers hold a stick like this. That means that they squeeze mainly the stick between the index finger and the thumb. They hit like this. Practically a year ago, I discovered a guy on the internet, and his name is Murray Spivak. Murray used to be a drum teacher in the previous century. Before he was teaching drums, he was um, a sound engineer for, for a lot of movies in, uh, in Hollywood. So when he was retired, he started to, uh, to teach drums. And he was teaching like uh, Louis Belson, Joe Morello, and a lot of uh, contemporary drummers followed the same technique as Murray. So that means actually that you hold your stick with your middle finger. So not with these two. These two are just there to navigate the stick. So here you hold the stick with this one, not too tight, of course. And these two, yeah, are just guiding the stick. And these two as well, they are just navigating. So the stick is the extension of the arm. Make sure it's always pointing straight ahead. So don't do it like this. Don't point it like that. Make sure this always stays open. So between the thumb and the index finger. Never squeeze it like this. Like this. Right. You keep just moving like this. this. This middle finger never loses touch with the stick. There's still a lot of energy in that stick. I'm not going to throw it again. So if you keep just catching the stick, so actually you throw it away and catch it. So drumming is not about holding the stick. It's basically about letting go of the stick and then you can feel that because you're not squeezing with these two fingers the stick has much more space to actually bounce back or be free so it's all about freedom so now i'm going to show you two exercises one exercise i could find on the internet where uh, murray was teaching and was saying that you actually get speed out of one hand with 112 bpm <laughs> faster not slower and that's one exercise you do for 10 minutes so every day if you practice you choose four to six exercises I'm going to show you in these videos and then you play them all for 10 minutes and you take a five minute break in between so this is one of them the next one is an exercise that starts with actually two four Eight, twelve, sixteen. So in the next clip, I'm going to show you the exercise in 170 BPM and then in 200 BPM. Back to the artwork division. This artwork can be yours if you're the fifth or the fifteenth subscriber to this video. So like it and subscribe. So we'll see each other in the next tutorial. Take care. Ciao.
Hi, and welcome to another tutorial about drum speed. In this episode, I'm going to show you some combinations of flams, paradiddles, and triplets. And it started all the way back on the streets with the marching bands. So they all played stuff like. The first exercise is a combination of paradiddle with flams. So it's a regular paradiddle, a single stroke paradiddle. And then the flams come in between. So the first flam starts just before you play the two notes with the right hand. So, and the second one, of course, and the flam starts with the right hand before the two lefts. So that means one, two. Exercise two is a combination of flams and triplets. So we play three triplets with the right hand and then three with the left hand. So it goes like this. Speed up slowly, better play good. The third exercise is also a combination of triplets and flams. So, but now we play two rights and one left. And before we play the two rights, we make a flam starting with the left. So first the exercise without the flam goes like this. And now with the flam. three exercises. Play them 10 minutes a day, five minutes break in between and make sure that you build it up slowly. First the technique is the most important. Make sure the stick is bouncing. Make sure you don't hold the stick too tight. Just let it go. Yeah. Right, this week's artwork is going to be sent to the second or the twelfth subscriber. So make sure you subscribe and like underneath this video. And we'll see each other in the next tutorial. Ciao.